top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Eight years had passed since his last mission, a near decade of inactivity rendering mention of his name as rare as the sight of the man himself. A denizen of the shadows, his reputation was, in many ways, built in the darkness. What now is a legend was then just a whisper, spoken only by a pair of Japanese computer games. But if you thought his days in the field were over, you forgot to check the water. If you're gonna resurrect a franchise, this is how you do it. You make it bigger, better, and more breathtaking than ever before. You make its genre a standard, and you make its character a legend. This is Solid Snake, and this is Metal Gear Solid. Released for the PlayStation in 1998, Metal Gear Solid wasn't the first stealth game released for a console. That honor was infiltrated by the original Metal Gear a decade earlier when it was ported to the Nintendo Entertainment System. But Metal Gear Solid did shine a light on stealth, so to speak, turning what had been just a handful of games based on sneaking around into one of the biggest genres of the late 90s. Huh? Whose footprints are these? If only for its influence on the industry, this game would be immensely important. But there's much more to Metal Gear Solid. Perhaps the most hyped PlayStation game in the console's history, and perhaps the best. You play as the one and only Solid Snake, a special forces operative with a strong knack for breaking into buildings and an apparent aversion to using the front door. Metal Gear Solid takes place six years after the events of the first two Metal Gear games. Snake has been called out of retirement to neutralize a nuclear threat posed by a group in Alaska, a dangerous group of terrorists who happen to be his former comrades. The game's story is stylish and engrossing, and as much as its gameplay, it's also a defining trait of Metal Gear Solid. Yet another area in which the game set itself apart in 1998, it achieved a level of narrative excellence higher than any other game of its time. With its brilliant cinematography, Metal Gear Solid set a standard for cutscenes and storytelling in video games that would influence the industry for years to come. For better or worse, this was one of the first titles to merge video games with the presentational panache of a Hollywood blockbuster. But the game's storytelling transitions into its gameplay very well, and of course that's where Solid Snake is at his best. You start the game virtually helpless. Snake only has binoculars and a pack of cigarettes. Metal Gear Solid is about avoiding your enemies, not confronting them. For example, Snake can only handle a few bullets before he dies, and that gives the game a relatively more realistic pace and consequence than most. Snake's survival depends entirely upon going unnoticed. If the guys with guns see him, the guys with guns will probably kill him. The gameplay is very smart and, in itself, cinematic. There's a cohesion between the two elements, and that's what gives Metal Gear Solid its defining feel. It's not like a movie because of what you're not doing, but because of what you are. The design is incredibly ambitious for its time, but what's more incredible is how well the game pulls it off. From gameplay and story to what they do together, Metal Gear Solid is just a stunning overall experience. Now that's not to say it's an experience for everyone. If you don't like long cutscenes and slow gameplay or being interrupted with dialogue, this game probably isn't for you. This is a more deliberate game than most, but even now, more than a decade after its release, it's also a better game than most. We have to send gigantic thanks to Kevin from California for donating Metal Gear Solid, arguably the greatest PlayStation game of all time. But I'm just getting warmed up. What? My hand!